Hey fam bam, my name is Natalie. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, and you're watching SMT. This video is sponsored by Pampers. Get back. Get back. Can you get back? You know what you're doing with that? Huh? No, you're not supposed to eat the camera. Put it back, please. So I remember a couple of weeks ago when my videos were super inconsistent. I wasn't posting. I wasn't updating you guys because me and Charlotte were going through our whole thing in our marriage, figuring out life with having a daughter, that whole spiel. Um, when we were going through that stuff, we also traveled to Cincinnati to visit Pampers. I'm not gonna lie, before I went to Cincinnati, I thought diapers were just things you put on the baby, they pooped and peed, and that was it. After going to Pampers, I learned so much about comfort and absorption and all kind of stuff that the baby needs. Now I realize how vital it is to choose a diaper that's very comfortable for your child. And as a parent, you always want the best for your child no matter what it is. And it's hard to choose the best when everybody says they're the best. And I'm not gonna speak for them. I think that they're the best, even though I just spoke for them. But I'm just gonna show y'all what we saw. When comparing Pampers Swaddlers to its biggest competitor, Pampers Swaddlers offers a softer top sheet allowing a more comfortable fit. The Pampers Hard Quilt Top Sheet allows for a smoother and softer feel, as you see in the demonstration. The competitor's top sheet is bumpy and causes more friction, causing the hockey puck to stop when pushed along the sheet, whereas the Swaddlers glide smoothly. What I do with Paul, just like a cotton ball, it goes in, it starts to crush down. It will look like it absorbs what it can absorb, but is it really absorbing? Okay. You're good. All right, so now, as you can see, this kind of sucks it up a little bit. We've still got some pulp in there, right? So you see what's happening here. Give me a second, and in just a second, there it goes. It's starting to go now. In a second, it's gonna start to dry out. And all I have That's now crazy. is yeah. ice. Oh, wow. Yeah, very, very cool. I'm gonna show you just how dry that is. So now I'm gonna take my filter paper, paper towel here, and jump back just a little bit, because sometimes the fluid flies on this. Because for me, it's like baking a cake. So now, hang on. Whoa. So here's what you see. You see virtually dry, wet, and wetter, right? Mm -hmm. But what happened when I actually did it the first time out? Oh, look at that. Virtually dry, somewhat wet, and wetter. So that's the difference in the technologies, and that's what an air felt based core will be. So like Cedric was saying, before we went to Cincinnati, I didn't necessarily realize hi, how critical of a role a diaper plays in the baby's development. We were sent home from the hospital in Swaddlers and they always worked for us, so it was just like a natural choice to keep picking what was working. But after going and learning the science behind it, it was really cool to see like, no, I really am making the best choice for my baby, especially, especially as we're sleep training Maddie right now, absorption and softness is more important than ever because we want her to sleep for 12 hours through the night and Pampers Swaddlers offer up to 12 hours of protection. So as Maddie's mom, it was really cool to learn about the science behind the upgraded Swaddlers. They're the softest Swaddlers ever. So as parents, it's just awesome to know that Pampers cares as much about the comfort and love and development of our baby as much as we do. You ready? So it's been a while since we sat down and just talked to you guys. Cause when we went to Cincinnati, that was like a while ago. It's like two months ago. Yeah, like two months ago. And that's when we were going through like our whole thing with like our marriage and having a hard time and just one of those bumps in the road. And I told you guys we're gonna check in every now and then to see where our heart is at and where God has us in our relationship and being parents and all that good stuff. So I thought it'd be a good time to do that. And I told you guys in Sunday's video, we've been doing a lot of fall activities. We went to the pumpkin patch, we went to the apple orchard and it was a great time. Now I'm gonna show you guys that on the next Family Tuesday videos. Thompson Tuesday? Thompson Tuesday, that's a good one. You guys haven't seen Charlotte in the videos as much because 
she has been working like crazy at her job. And people ask where you work at all the time. But mind your business. Yeah. She doesn't <laughs> want to tell you also. No, I I'll just I just I work from home. I work for a software company in sales. Yeah. I have a job. I would say over the last two months. Life has been really busy, but like all good things I feel like. Like I feel like Cedric and I We've been doing a lot better in our relationship. I think for us in our marriage, like the time when we were talking, we were like arguing a lot. And now we don't really find ourselves arguing that much, but now there's like this, there's like a dull, like quietness of like, not really having conversation. It's just like, we're kind of just living with each other. And it's weird because we're not arguing, but it's just like, we're just, I don't know how to explain it. I think we're just like still learning how to work together as a team. Like today Cedric texted me and he's like, remember, we're a team. Which is sometimes like, it seems like that just is a natural thing. Mm -hmm. But I think when life's so busy and like we both have our own individual stuff going on and then we've got our stuff going on together mm -hmm. and with Maddie and the channel and everything, um, it's just, we have to remember like, we need to work together as a team. We need to keep communicating and make sure we're finding time for the two of us which is something we still need to work on yeah so like we were at a low and now we're like we're trying to get you know trying to get to the high stuff we're trying to get to the top of the mountain and, and it's we hard. know that in this life there are peaks and there are valleys we're not in a valley but we're still working on the peak yeah and i think for us it's just seeking counsel and I don't know if that's like that's a third party counselor with, with counseling or if that's like continuing to like read together and just seek each other's hearts like today Charlotte woke up and she was like really frantic about working and she had to go get some shots with Maddie this morning and I could tell right away from the gym when she woke up she was just like super frantic so I was like okay I'm gonna I sat and like I was in my private time this morning and I was like okay I'm gonna pray I'll pray for Charlotte and myself to have a good day today and I told myself that you know, I'm gonna text her, let her know that we're a team. So I text her, say, hey, I know you're, I'm not saying you're frantic, I'm not saying you're panicking, but before you get to that, remember we're a team. I have a lot of work to do today. Let's work with each other, make sure we get this done. And I think it's small stuff like that, that will get us to that high that we want to get to. And right now with Maddie, she's at just like a super fun, crazy age where she's learning something new every single day she talks so much like it's so funny like she repeats every word that we say to her i'll show some later on tonight when she gets home she's uh being babysat right now babysat everything mm -hmm. she's being babysat right now and later when she gets home later on tonight we'll do some stuff with her so y'all can see how much she's developed that's crazy yeah it is crazy she's like up uppy uppy please Thank you. Um, thank you. All done. And the cutest thing is when she says bye, she doesn't say bye. She does this. Ready? One, two, three. That's what she does when she says bye. <laughs> to That's like everybody. The cutest thing in the world. And, so. it, and it kills everybody. Because yeah, every time we're like, man, can you say bye? She's like, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, aw, bye. And they blow her kiss back. And then she keeps yeah, going. Yeah, she, she'll, she'll blow kisses all day. But yeah, so there's just like so much exciting stuff going on. like specifically with Maddie, and then the merch is coming. Oh yeah, the merchandise is coming out. It's so close. Like, I am so in love with the hats. I'm in love with a lot of the shirts. Like, matter of fact, and I'm doing this wait, right wait, now. Wait, 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 wait. So this is one of the shirts. This is the first sample that we got, and it's not finished. The little A's messed up, so we're gonna get that fixed. I'm giving this away. This is the first sample. You're giving away the sample, the yeah. messed up one? No, it's not really messed up though. And this is like an OG but, thing. Yeah, if so you look. have it, then you're like triple, triple OG. OG, yeah, so look, this is a large. It's you know? a small. Oh, sorry, it's a small. <laughs> so yeah, but merch is close and it's super soon exciting. Soon come, remember when you used to say that? Yeah, soon come. So Maddie's exciting, merch is exciting. I feel like we got some big trips planned, that's exciting. But I feel like there's something else. Vlogmas. Well, Vlogmas is coming. I'm doing all 25 days of Vlogmas. Well, it's just like that and then we just, yeah. You're pregnant. No. <laughs> oh, that's what was exciting. What? We found a new church. Oh, yeah, we found a new church. I'm going to be talking about the church and stuff we go to now because it's a really small church. And um, it's cool because it's only like 20, 30 people. And I just have this vision that God has us there to like really grow and expand the church in Minneapolis. And the church's vision is awesome. And we want to help expand that vision and hopefully turn it into something that 
a lot of people can come and grow in their faith and yeah. Yeah, and it's like a month, it's just over a month old. So we're really excited to be like in the beginning stages with mm -hmm. the church. So like we're growing with the church while also trying to help the church grow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, now I have to get ready to go to practice and then we gotta go pick up Maddie and then after practice, we'll show you all of Maddie's fun tricks. She has so many tricks, you guys, it's crazy. I just love her so much. Hey baby, see this? Hey! Did you say hi? Ah! Did you say hi? Come up! She wants to run around this in circles. Careful, you're gonna slip on your pants. Come here. Come here. Maddie. What do you say? Wee, wee, wee. Please? Can you say please? Wee, wee, wee. Can you say wah wah? Wah wah wah. Good job. Do you want some more? Mmm. You say thank you. <laughs> Can you say bye? Say bye. <laughs>